Welcome back to another vlog, another day in the life. So I just got done training my last client for my personal training career. If you didn't know before this, I did uh, freelance personal training, but I recently just got into grad school. Yeah, it's a bit bittersweet, you know, it was a good time. Life is really just a series of beginnings and ends. Yeah, but yeah, enough of all that. So today I've got legs. I'm gonna take you through my leg workout it's mainly hamstring focused because i'm trying my hardest to bring out my hamstrings to get you know that full balanced look all i really want are horse legs i'm about to drive to the gym it's a bit of a drive let's get to it all right so we're at the gym you know what time it is all right, so in today's episode of Chow's Car Thoughts, thought it'd be a good idea to answer some questions. I'm gonna answer this question right here. So how does one go about properly clean bulking? I'm gonna make it very simple. So the first thing that you should probably do, if you haven't done so already, is invest in a kitchen scale. They're only like 10 bucks on Amazon and knowing precisely what's going in to your body is gonna make all the difference. The second tip that I have is to keep your surplus pretty minimal. If your maintenance calories is 2,500, start off with like an extra 200 calorie surplus. So eat 2,700. You do that for a little while and then slowly, slowly, week by week, bump up the calories just a bit. All right, and then if you're having a tough time even getting those calories, another tip that I have is to actually eat a little bit more fatty foods. So instead of chicken breast, eat chicken thigh. Um, throw in some avocado, throw in some nut butter, stuff like that. Remember, bodybuilding is all about patience, especially if you're doing it naturally. Unfortunately, we're not like Dragon Ball Z characters where we can transform in an instant. As a human, our transformations take quite a bit of time, so don't get discouraged. Yo, just had the worst pre-workout rides. <sighs> so I had to spend like an extra 15 minutes the toilet. Uh, okay. that happens. Anyway, warming up on the incline treadmill right now. Probably the best way to warm up. Honestly, deadlifts are so taxing. So I spent about five, six minutes in between each set. Having a longer rest period doesn't necessarily mean you're not training as hard. You should take as much rest as you need in between sets so that you're performing at your best for each set.
here in the end of a leg workout right now, I got the craziest fucking quad pump. It's like the, the painful kind. I don't know, the lighting, the lighting sucks here, but it just feels like it's gonna explode. I'm finishing up my Bulgarian split squats. I'm going a bit heavier, so sets of six to eight. Um, 70 pound dumbbells each hand. It's fucking hard, man. I swear, I just do deadlifts and Bulgarian split squats, and I'm toast. I'm toast after that. We get to it. That'll be it for this video. Thanks for tuning in again, and see you next time. Peace.